Um, so, uh, occasionally at shows, after a performance, somebody will come up to me and be like, hey, I really want to thank you for, oh, awesome, a La Croix. <laughs> You get into a lot of debates as to whether it, how it's pronounced, and people yell at me and call me names for saying La Croix, even though that's usually how French things, when you get an oix, it's not La Croix. Yeah, and then people say, oh, it's La Croix. I'm like, you're halfway. Um, Enchanté. Yeah. So, um, thank you. Everybody give it up for Doug. Um, but invariably somebody will come up to me after a show and, um... You forgot my name, didn't you? What? I just gave it up for him, but it's like... Oh, should I not? Should I only give it up for him? Should I, only, should I give it up for you instead? I don't know, are we fighting? Both? <laughs> but both, though? Margo wants credit. Listen, yeah. I got the emails from him. <laughs> so... I'm really shy, and he's the one who paid the money. Okay, well... Well, all right, give it up for Margo, too. I appreciate you saying her name very loudly when you... Uh, I did remember it, but that was very kind of you. Um, but invariably, after a show, um, some, uh, some kid will come up to me and be like, Hey, I really want to thank you for your being open with your borderline personality disorder. And I'm like, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Because <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure on me. Because first of all, damn it, that was an accident if I did that. I was joking, but it was true. And that's like something I do way too often, is be joking, but also be being serious. Um, Except for when, like, I spent two years lying about having a daughter I don't have. Um, for those of you just tuning in, I spent two years lying about having a daughter I don't have. I mean, whatever. Um, it's too late. You missed the boat on that one. Um, but, um, you know, it also puts me in a position where it's like, do I really want to contribute to a potential cultural issue where we over-medicalize and overly clinicalize aspects of the human experience and just being, playing prophylactic whack-a-mole for the symptoms of being a human being? And then I go, yeah, but also, like, people use that logic a lot to, like, attack people with serious psychiatric illnesses and to invalidate their struggles. And so I don't really have, like, anything I can do. And then on top of it all, it puts me in a position where, like, all of a sudden I have to, like, you know, be exemplary or be some kind of, like, role model or be some kind of, like, I don't know, like, I can't make people with borderline personality disorder look bad. And I'm like, fuck. That's a tall order, man. This borderline personality disorder looks pretty bad. Um, and it's not, it's not cute. Um, trust me, I have it. And now it's too late. I've been open about it. So, you're welcome. Um, I'm okay, thank you. I only got one. They usually avoid me. Um, and, um... All that, all that being said, um, this next song is one that I wrote about all those thoughts that I have regarding that stuff, and it's uh, another one that I plan on releasing on my next record. Um, and uh, and um, it's called it's called Marsha. Thank you for the dialectics, but I need you to leave. <laughs> Prescribe you any illness you like if you define the terms of your ailments. You could sing a pretty melody like a black canary, but a crow don't know the smell of carbon monoxide. How many years have you been on that couch? They could have quilt you in the throes by now. You draw a line in the sand where it ends and you begin, but the tide rolls in, so who knows? Oh well, and a little identity now. 
never heard no bloody old but lately you've been focusing too much on yourself so how many milligrams of you are still left in there cause back in my day we didn't need no feel good pills and no psychiatrists no we just drank ourselves to death and god damn it we liked it <laughs> What's a symptom? What's a flaw? Can it be both? Well, I suppose that's some kind of answer. Would you give up your humanity for just a touch of sanity? Cause God knows it's not like it's cancer. And good news to the purest, they discovered a cure for the symptoms of being alive. It's a painless procedure with a low rate of failure, but very few patients survive. And a little conformity never hurt nobody. But lately I've been worried that you're losing yourself. So how many milligrams of you are still left in there? Cause back in my day we didn't need no feel good pills and no psychiatrists. No, we just bled out in our baths and God damn it, we liked it. Could you hold me closer? We get dressed to impress, I guess, in layer after layer to get off our chests. It's cold out now, we can take it off later. Better safe than sorry, and we both know the danger. So, doctor, could you run another test? Got a feeling that this time I might just pass it. Well, if you raise the average, we all sing when the bell curve rings in Lyrics symptomatic of the way we think If our harmonies don't sync, we can change our voices Our chorus on condition of our diagnosis So back in my day, we didn't need no feel-good pills and no psychiatrists Aspirin kill you with the pain You're not your thoughts, you're not your brain You're just that character you've made A bit in your head, down in your heart What seem like separate body parts Just come together to believe they're you And not just chemistry It's not the way that you were raised Not what the advertisements say Not what you pay for, what you pray for What you want or what you say And I see your tendency to redefine disease By what you need And I'm afraid I can't prescribe The diagnosis that you seek If something tells me that you need Forgive me now if I I misspeak, but something tells me that you like, yeah, something tells me that you need to be sitting there flipping through those old issues of people. Okay, goodbye, same time next week. <laughs> Woo!